Hello team, heading off to Costa Rica this Easter weekend. Uh, we are so pleased for you. I know I say that almost choking through my bitter and twisted envy, but no, seriously, we are really delighted that you are escaping here and going off for an adventure. Anyway, last, lots of last minute questions coming in. So I thought I'd put this little video together to answer the questions to help you all. So I've got a long list here. So draw up a uh, chair, dice cup of tea perhaps, pen and paper, and let's get going. So you are all meeting in San Jose on the 2nd of April. For all of you who's coming from the States, I know you're arriving at random times, you will all be picked up and taken to the Rosa of America where you will wait for everybody else to drift in that day. For all you those independently traveling, we need you at the Rosa of America by 6 p.m., please. That would be great, with a COVID test in hand. We have just had a near close escape where somebody that was freewheeling around Costa Rica before joining up with one of the teams did the test and was sadly positive. So it's really annoying. So while you're freewheeling, be very mindful of, you know, it is a risk, it is still out there and um, we need you to have a test. You can have a PCR test back in San Jose at the Biblica Hospital, or we're very happy for you to take a um, quick test, those antigen flow tests out with you, and then you've got it and you can do it, you know, on the day that you're meeting everybody. For that first night, the Brits, all of you guys will be in in the evening and you'll be picked up. All to the Rosa. Can you remind you it is £50, $50 extra for that first night. If you can have that on cash to pay the Rosa, job done. Okay. On the Saturday, you will be up extremely early to go on the um, transfer down to Santa Teresa itself. It is a long journey. It's several hours to get to the ferry, a couple of hours on the ferry, and then a couple of hours the other side. So you'll probably sleep halfway, but try not to sleep because it actually is a very pretty journey. Um, it is Easter weekend, so there will be loads of people out and about in Santa Teresa. It will be really exciting. There'll be lots to do, and there's lots planned for you on Easter day. So you can kind of meet everyone, bond and settle in. The itinerary, so all the projects, will start on Easter Monday. The first week, all of you will be involved in a surfing and Spanish week. Now, the point of the surfing is, yes, to learn to surf, but two, you've got to concentrate because the ocean there is one of the biggest surf destinations in the world and, and the, the riptides, everything is, is properly serious, so you've really got to concentrate. Unlike myself, who didn't concentrate a couple of years ago and was taken off by a riptide. Don't advise it, so do concentrate. So that's week one, it's a kind of gentle introduction into your new world. For those of you on the four week program, as you know, you've got one week at Serenus and two extra weeks just doing the plastic oceans. I say just, there's nothing just about it. For those on the six weeks, you have the Surf Spanish week, then you go to Serenus and you've got an ASVO, another turtle week, and you've got three weeks in camp on the plastic oceans. For the eight weeks, you've got everything involved, plus Monteverde at the end and a chill few days at the end. So it, you will all be very busy. Um, you're, when you get there, the whole team is going to be divided up into three, maybe four groups. Those groups really depend on, are d divided up on your level of Spanish. That really helps. Of course, friendship groups get taken into, in, into account. So you will be all rotating on a week by week basis going through your itineraries. So it will be a busy, fun time. Just looking at my list. Kit, equipment, what to pack. Okay, please look in your Miley Perry because I have written everything down and everything on that list is there for a reason. So don't think, oh, I don't need that. The amount of people that turn up without a water bottle, I mean, it's beyond, it's beyond belief. So please have a look. For those on the six and eight weekers, you'll see there's some additional items that you need because the ASVO Turtle Week is very rough and wild. So you go from beautiful Serenus, which is your, you know, luxurious turtle conservation, the camp, Jaquera camp, in uh, Santa Teresa is luxurious, but you're gonna have four days off where you're going to be roughing it. 
so you do need to take extra bits and bobs so have a look in the MyLeap because we have outlined what they are. Insurance, how's everyone getting on? Yep, enjoying the, the whole process. Battleface is easy peasy, isn't it? And of course, uh, then it comes to the INS. It is sent to try us and to make um, everybody go gray, possibly lose their hair in the process of getting it. But I've also created a little YouTube video to answer some of the questions specifically about the INS. But so the, the message is, Actually, girls, what are the messages? Just keep trying. You know, if it use doesn't Chrome work, close it down and walk away. But use Chrome, not Safari. That's a great top tip from one family last week. Um, beneficiaries, that's where you put your parent, uh, parent's name and their passport. When it says 100%, you know, a percentage, just put 100. I don't know why, but it works. And one of the other top tips, which is really random, is they give you your, your um, policy and they put a nine in front of your passport number, which can really throw you. I don't know why they do that. Just sent to a noise. Anyway, good luck with that. Money. Okay, local currency is the colons out there. And, um, but of course they accept, <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, so sorry, it's so pathetic. <laughs> anyway, um, is that and the American dollars, of course, they take everywhere. Um, the ATMs, you can get the local currency out, but just remember, if you pay anything in a shop with the dollars, they will give you colons in, 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 in change. And, um, and that's going to really confuse you with the, it's a prime opportunity for, for you to get ripped off. So just be mindful of that. Revolut Monzo cards, they work and it's pretty easy and, and the debit cards. So it's very, very easy to manage your cash out there. One thing about money is it doesn't go very far in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is an expensive destination. You have been warned, especially Santa Teresa, which has, you know, it can look after the likes of George Clooney that has a house tucked away in the jungle on the hills there. So you've got gorgeous restaurants, you've got sushi bars, you've got cocktail bars, you've got smoothies, ice creams, you've got everything you could possibly, you know, just, just die for. And I know you've been tucked away in, um, in lockdown for the last year and you're potentially going to go mad when you're there. But just be mindful, you don't need to go to the sushi bar. You could go to the local soda, um, which is the local Costa Rican restaurants and have some local food. Just putting it out there, you know, just manage your budget accordingly. Camp life, remember in the camp, two meals a day are provided and the food in camp is absolutely delicious. Again, a lot of people have been going crazy and going out every night to these um, very nice restaurants, but you don't need to. They do in camp put on pizza night and homemade sushi. The food in the camp is utterly, utterly delicious. The chef is a genius. So, you know, get involved with that. They want to create, it. The camp is a wonderful home. It isn't a hostel and it's going to be treated as a home. There's kids running around. It's a lovely, lovely vibe to it. Little pool, loads of chill out areas. It's very boho cool. So really enjoy it. And we always recommend to everybody, go to the supermarket, cook your own food. There's kitchens where you can, you can create or sign up for the kind of the, the, the pizza night, sushi night that they're doing. But it's all very, very relaxed and, and you'll love it. Laundry, they have built a laundry area in camp, so you can get that done, or if you don't want to, you can go to the laundrette, you know, in town. So that's easily done. Moving on, health and hygiene. Mm -hmm. Okay, so COVID, remember, it is still out there. Okay, I know there's a lot of gap year students out in Costa Rica mo at the moment who are officially going nuts, and I'm we're not surprised, but you know, it is there, so just be respectful to everybody in the local towns. When you move in Santa Teresa, it has got a more relaxed feel. But when, say, you go independently traveling, if you do afterwards, different towns, different rules. Follow when you see other people, what they're doing. You know, in, in the restaurants of Santa Teresa, they are still closing at nine o'clock. A few of the bars are open, but, you know, just be really mindful of what the locals are doing and follow their lead. Um, but COVID aside, one of the things that we are really actually a more of a risk to you are the simple things such as dehydration and the simple cups. You have 
honestly no idea how many cuts get infected the mosquito night that bite that goes moldy and bad that has caused us more trouble over the years than um than covid itself but so just really look after yourself especially with dehydration but in Santa Teresa, there are loads of, well, there is one particular little um, clinic who is brilliant at dealing with everything. And Chris and Melly, the team in the camp, have a lovely doctor on speed dial. So any trouble, it could be instantly looked, you could be instantly looked after. When you come to leave um, Costa Rica to fly back home, if you're still on the program, you're going to be taken up to San Jose now. That is the new plan. Um, for two nights and you're going to get your PCR test done at the Hospital Biblica um, in San Jose. They are absolutely brilliant and the Rosa of America, they are got COVID, it's just like all set up because one poor guy, he did fail his test, it was remarkable seeing everybody else that he had been with for two weeks didn't and he was asymptomatic, it was so annoying but in the Rosa he's been looked after for 10 days and then you know he could get a new test and then he was free to travel back to England so that is the plan I think that is everything on my list from Zoe and Liv's point of view they will be chasing you for last minute admin t-shirts have been sent out if you weirdly get a t-shirt sent to you from someone else that's because they're American please could you just pop it in your bag and take it with you. I know it sounds very random, but any kind of, it's just easier for our um, t-shirt dispatcher to, to just do that instead of sending them all around the world at the moment. So thank you if you get to, that's appreciated. Um, so in a nutshell, you're gonna have a ball, everything's gonna go well, and any questions between now and departure, you know where we are. So happy travels. Goodbye.